Hi everyone. Um, I thought I would just do a little vlog and rather than just sit here and talk at a screen, I thought I would, you know, show you some video capture of me as I actually work on, you know, the next Toshinko video script. So you can see me write stuff and do a little bit of um, struggle bussing as I try to remember how to do Django um, when I haven't had enough coffee. So I'm back and normally I hate videos or blogs that try to explain, you know, why I haven't been here, you know, what work life circumstances happened. I just abhor those. And normally I wouldn't do one myself. But the life circumstances actually got me thinking about some things that are pretty relevant if you are a developer. So I thought I'd talk about them. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was work-life balance. Now, why did things get out of whack? Well, nothing horrific, just my daughter had a day camp. I normally only go into work one day a week. It's about an hour and a half away from my house, so it's about a three-hour uh, round-trip day you know, that I spend commuting on that one day. And this really isn't a huge deal for me because it's one day a week. Well, my daughter had a day camp in the same building I work in that lasted for two weeks. And it's an awesome day camp, and I don't regret it doing it. But it was also, I was commuting two to three, you know, two to two and a half hours um, a day if I was lucky and didn't hit any traffic. Um, and, you know, it was just, I realized that, you know, how, what a huge impact it had on me. Uh, the result was I was super tired. It's not a short commute. It's also not an easy, um, fast, it's like it's not an easy on the constant move kind of commute. Um, we ate a lot of pizza during those two weeks because my husband gets home late. He gets home at about 7 p.m. so he can't do dinner duty. So I'm doing dinner, dinner duty. Um, I didn't have any me time and that sucked because I like, you know, cooking dinner for me is me time and having like, you know, a lot of time to read in the evening or watch YouTube videos and knit and whatever. So what? Why am I talking about this? Well, I'm coming to realize uh, working from home is one of the few ways to balance um, your work and your life and your health um, in tech, unfortunately. Um, and it may just be me. Maybe other people have figured out ways to do this without having, like, a spouse um, who, you know, stays at home. Um, or they're just, they have, like, a five-minute commute or something. Uh, but a lot of us end up with these longer commutes. And some of the stuff that, you know, if you can work from home, it allows that you can cook no-rush meals. So you're not ordering out as much. Um, you're not using as many shortcuts which, no shade on shortcuts, um, I use them too, but it's nice when you don't have to rely on those. Um, taking care of low-key issues, like, just, if you have a sick kid, and I'm not talking about a kid that's, like, actively, like, flailing about and needs all your attention. I'm talking a kid who's sitting on the couch, drinking um, ginger ale and watching YouTube. Like, that kind of sick kid. Um, and doing self-care and me time, um, if you need it. And it also gives you more wiggle room. A couple of the nights, I made the mistake of staying up too late. It wasn't crazy late. You know, it was like 10.30. But I did get to bed a little bit later. Normally, I would have just slept in a little bit more the next day. But I had to be out of the house by 6 a.m. in order to get my daughter to camp on time. So I was tired, like that entire day. Um... Also because I'm older, uh, I'm not in my 20s anymore. I can't power through stuff. I am turned I turned 37 this year, so I have way less energy than I used to. Um, so there are some dangers to working from home um, because I really think that every developer at some point should try to get a gig where they can work from home and they should stick with it for you know a, a year or two. Um, because it is it does take time. It is a skill. You are not going to instantly be able to work from home. Um, but there are some dangers that are worth talking about. Um, you do have to be very good about setting barriers between work and, you know, life, um, which 
hey, you know, for me, that's easy because I really like cooking dinner and I really like knitting. So I have these really strong motivators to go and leave work at five o'clock and just walk away and do other stuff. Um, but I know a lot of people that don't have that ability to separate home life and work life, that they're going and checking their email at 10 o'clock at night. So you really have to cultivate that skill to shut that down. Um, otherwise, you'll end up working 80 hours a week, um, which does not make you a better worker. Um, also, uh, you know, you might have you might have lose the ability to get promotions. I ran into this. I was at a gig where you know we were all remote, and at some point it came down from on high that if you worked remote, you were not getting a promotion. Um, you were not going to be considered like a lead, or and you couldn't move into management. Um, which I mean, to management that made sense, but it kind of sucks because those were some of the only avenues to make more money. And, you know, I had to weigh that in staying with the company, you know, do I want to stay somewhere where I know that I'm stuck in this current position for as long as I'm there? Um, also, if you live in a high cost area, it can be harder to actually find somebody who's willing to match the salary that you would need to live in said high cost area. I'm lucky I live in probably the most low cost area in a high cost area. Uh, I live in the DC area, but I live in a suburb and I'm like the last place in DC that's somewhat affordable. So I had a lot of leeway. Um, but if you are living like in New York City or downtown Boston or just in, in the city, you have to keep an eye on that because you may not um, be able to find a working, a telework gig, a remote gig that would actually cover your costs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and, you know, those are the dangers. There's also the danger of, you know, that maybe you really can't focus during the day. But as I said, it's a skill. It's worth cultivating. Um, I'm also lucky in the fact that I don't have a problem focusing during the day. Yes, I work in an area where all of my gaming consoles and my gaming computer are like no more than 10 steps away from me, but they don't really draw me during the day. Um, I don't have a huge problem with that. Um, you know, oh, another thing that can come up if you are a procrastinator, that's actually where the struggle's real. Because you can tell yourself, like, if you don't get something done, if you had a bad focus day on, like, Friday, um, you might say, oh, that's okay, I'll work on Saturday to make up for it. And let me tell you, that's a really good way to end up burned out. Um, just because it's really easy to say, no, no, I'll put this off, instead of dealing with the root cause of, like, why were you distracted? Were you distracted because... You know, you have people that don't leave you alone. Um, your family is constantly like patting you on the shoulder, which by the way, family needs training too. That's a part of the training is training people to not bother you when you're working, um, even if you don't have a door. But yeah, those were just some of my thoughts about, you know, working from home. And it honestly is the only way I've been able to balance work, life and health because, oh yeah, during those two weeks, the gym didn't happen either. Um, my life was basically get up, get to work, um, get the girl to camp, um, muddle through the day, have a long commute home, throw something together for dinner, and then whine when it was like, you know, 845 and I realized I had to start winding down. Um, so, and I know people are going to might look at this and say, oh, you whiner, you know, <laughs> shut up. You have an awesome, like, um you know, you're fine. But, you know, as I got older, and as I have, you know, I have two kids, I have two dogs, I have a household, you know, I've got, you know, I, I like to eat nice food. Balancing all these things became more and more important to my physical and mental health. Um, now, one thing about the promotions, it's not impossible to get a promotion if you're a remote worker. Um, as I said, I'm a CTO, and I work remotely four days a week. And if I had to, I would work remote five where I would work remotely five days a week. Um, so it is possible, but just be aware that if you work at larger companies, uh, you may run into, you know, the company doesn't do promotions 
or it might management just change their tune, which is what happened to me. They suddenly said, nope, no promotions for anybody who, you know, works remotely. You have to work, you know, in the, like, in this, you know, in the area and be in, like, the office X number of days a week, which kind of sucked when I found that out. Um, so that's all I really had. Uh, the next videos are coming up. Um, I'm working, as you can see, I'm working on the script for the next one, which is updating templates. And after that, you can probably see in the sidebar the other ones that are misnumbered because uh, this series exploded. Um, and that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the end of this month, I will actually have this series done and I don't have to talk about Django for a while. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or ideas or whatever, hit me up in the comments or track me down on Twitter. And I hope you all have a really good day. Bye.